Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Red Fab Garage. Just got to mom and dad's place here, and uh, I'm hearing there's problems with the 55 Fairlane, so uh, we're gonna walk out here and see what we can find. I have heard that it has no brakes now, and it sounds like the John Deere Gator didn't want to start to get out of the way. So, <clears throat> we may have some more uh, work to do on the brakes. I uh, gave dad a parts list of what we needed, which consists of a complete power brake conversion. Uh, we're gonna go, uh, believe, disc brakes on the front, new brake boosters, um, all that kind of stuff. And the 55 is covered in cow crap, mom. What? It's covered in cow crap. Oh no. Like the whole side of the car. So the car's gonna need a bath. For sure. Cause she lives in there. All right, Dad. So what's the official problem? What are we gonna have to work on next? Oh, it goes good. It just don't stop. Just don't stop. Good. So, uh, what did you order? Uh, disc brake conversion kit. Wow. Front and rear, or just the, just front? the front. Just the front. All right. The front stops the back wheel too. Back, back wheel too. Uh huh. So you got the list, you got uh, everything on the list I gave you. That's right. And we think we got it. I already so. put it in and it didn't help. Nothing. You put it in the trunk though, I think. Yeah, I did put it in the trunk. Mom, are you trying to figure it out? No, I'm making the keyboard. Hmm. Not starting. Not starting. Are your gauges coming on? Nope. So we got a dead battery? Maybe. All right, let's see if we can get in here to this thing. We got the 55 on the trailer and somewhat cleaned off so we can get it in the shop and get all the cow manure off of it. So we're going to uh, get this thing back home. Uh, probably roll the Camaro out of the way and uh, spend a couple days putting a disparate conversion kit on it. So uh, we'll get this thing where dad can stop it with ease and then I think we're even gonna do some power steering next. So uh, more to come. So this is a uh, manual power, manual steering, manual brake car that's giving him some fits. So we've got a whole bag of parts just sitting here on the bench, ready to uh, to throw at this thing. But it's time to get this thing up in the air and uh, take it apart. All right, got it at working height now. Um, we're gonna break out some tools and just tear this thing apart. Let's get this old school mess out of the way.
Okay, I've got both sides tore down, cleaned up good enough. Um, we're not gonna repaint all this kind of stuff because this is not a show car. Uh, this is one my dad wants to drive in. But we do have, uh, like I said, all the, all the backing plates on the, on the spindles cleaned up and, uh, and good to go there. Um, I did go ahead and pack some bearings um, and get some stuff ready for that. Um, so basically, we've got all this figured out. We do have the brake booster kit, but unfortunately, there's no instructions on what, so this is we're just going to figure this one out. So, um, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully, there's not a lot of cutting or redrilling or whatever I have to do with that. But I mean, the brackets look straightforward, but uh, you never know what like that's for. We're going to be relocating something somewhere. But anyway, um, we've got all this stuff bearings packed, seals are in, we're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and throw uh, one side together. Um, the disc brake conversion is pretty straightforward. If anybody's done one of those, there's not much to them. Um, the Camaro, uh, the disc brake kit on it, that was a complete new spindles, new everything. So we went all the way down with new control arms and all. This one uses the original spindles and uh, we're just uh, adding on and adapting what's what. So uh, let's get started on this side. Okay, on the 55 kit, uh, they actually have spacers that go behind this control arm um to add a little bit of distance for the brake calipers and stuff like that uh so we have a couple of those that have to go on here so we're going to slide our first bolts in right there second side there now we have about a not quite a quarter of an inch bushing a little spacer to come into here get that on there we'll straighten this out now the steering arm on this is just a horseshoe shape that goes right to the bolt. So we just have to line this up, tweak the steering. I'm sure we'll have to do a little bit of realigning once we get it all together because that's adding. Um, basically, it's taking away the distance from left, left side to right side. So our steering will be a little bit perked up. So um, we'll probably be towed out a little bit. So those two are there. Let's find the right bolts for them or nuts for them. Got nuts and washers. Okay, well we've got the old master cylinder off the car. Um, we need to start looking and see what we've got to do with the uh, power brake booster. Uh, they didn't send any paperwork with that, so um, hopefully it's just throw it on that kind of easy, but uh, it never seems to be that way. So we got the old junk out. Um, we are gonna have to rebuild brake lines and some things like that it looks like for sure, since this is a single port master cylinder. Um, I'm gonna climb under the dash, see what I gotta do to take out the plunger and um, see what's next. All right, let's get under the dash of this thing and take a look. Um, besides all the little aftermarket O'Reilly's gauges that are here, we need to get that stuff out of the way. Um, looks like I've got just this bolt to pull the plunger out. And um, once we do that, we're gonna try and size up this, uh, this booster bracket and see what it looks like. All right, looks like we need to knock that bolt out. We're gonna have to reuse that. So let's go do that real quick. So, what we're hoping, uh, right up with the bracket, there it is. So I'm sitting over here in the chair. 
what I'm hoping is this thing will simply mount on the firewall like this because it looks like this is going to bolt to actually that's going to bolt to the booster so it'll be like that this should go through there this bolt fits so I'm hoping it is that simple because uh, that would make my day the only thing we have to do is adjust the plunger on the booster and get that so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the car um, and just see what we got to do with this I need to pull the boot off of this that plunger should pull out of the booster not quite uh, I may go ahead and get that set up first to this so that I don't have to try and work under the dash on adjusting the 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 throw on this or whatnot as it goes in and out so uh, i'm gonna try that real quick So let's throw it in there and see. <coughs> yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna feed this through the hole, do a test fit here, see what works, what don't work. Let's see here. As always, we got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, we're kind of double duty, and today we are still working on Dad's 55 Ford. Um, I've been playing with the Camaro gas tank over there. It's about done But uh, we've got the master cylinder and brake booster on dad's car um, And I'm going over things and looking here and seeing what's what and um, This intake only has one vacuum port right there so I'm probably gonna have to pull this out and uh it looks like that probably goes inside to the vacuum wipers and um, so we're gonna have to either drill another port for a vacuum or or, or tee this off um, and that's gonna make it fun with the vacuum wipers but uh, other than that we have to add that to the list this morning and also you know the factory master cylinder on this was a one port which basically means it has one plunger where this one has two you have for front and rear and you're split through a proportioning valve and so on but problem is with this car since it only had a one port master cylinder that means all front and back brakes are tied to one port let me grab a light here and i'll show you what i'm talking about most systems the front and the rear brakes on a new car or newer car just not a 55 um operate off of two so if you have a failure in the rear brakes you still have front brakes so right here if we can see this that brass wire right there basically has front driver brake a rear or front a passenger brake is back there and this line never mind my bug zapper back there this line right here goes to the rear brakes so everything is tied to one and uh, that doesn't work on what we're wanting to do. So um, we're gonna have to basically uh, replace that Y and um, run the rear brake separate to the master cylinder. So not as tough as it seems. And actually what I probably will do, um, you can take this, since it's running one line down to here, you can take it to the portioning valve and block off one port and just use one instead of using both of them for the front. So, on the proportioning valve that sits underneath here it's going to bolt right to there this is for the front that's for the rear this is the front going out let's say you can make that on passenger side this one you can make it front going to driver's side this one back here goes to the rear so it's just that simple this is a disc brake to power uh, to drum brake so disc brake front drum brake rear proportioning valve and um, we can use just one port to feed the front brakes. Um, you know, it'd be ideal if we wanted to go through and replace all the lines to the front and use the proportioning valve as it was designed, but it's not totally necessary. 
So, um, when Dad gets here, we're gonna uh, run to the parts house, see what we need to get, and um, hopefully have this thing on the road today. All right, I'm gonna try and get this old line off uh, without having to tear into everything. And uh, I probably am gonna have to take this fuel filter off regardless just to be able to get into this dude. But I bet I gotta take the carburetor off to get this thing out. There we go. Alright, that's out of the way. Now let's see if we can get a big wrench on this and make it move. She's trying. Okay, so we're good there. We just need to get a, uh, a T that'll fit in this so we can feed the brakes and the accessories inside. So. Okay, next stop, parts store. All right, me and Dad are back from town. Uh, we went and got what we needed to start putting these brakes together. Um, everything is going pretty well. What we did is basically just took the rear brake line out of this three-way Y like we talked about earlier, and I've bent that up, and we're going to attach that to, uh, to the master cylinder side. So I do have a plug. I need to put in here and plug this off so we don't have uh, a, a major leak right there. So we're gonna get this plug in and then we're gonna start hooking everything up on the master cylinder. Um, like I said, we bolted that together last night. Um, it went together fairly smooth. Just had to do a little bit of pondering on it. Okay, so now we just need to uh, flare this line and get it plugged into the portion valve. All right, we'll have to cut this uh, regular 3 h flared off uh, for this larger, I think it's a half inch. <clears throat> and I'm gonna set it right here so that we don't forget to put it on Because <laughs> it happens more than you'd like to admit it All right, we're gonna finagle this thing around so we can get a little more room in here I think we're gonna cut it off to start with about right here And then we can uh, work with it from that point Double flare. And that will work like a champ. I say that now, we'll have to cut another one here in a minute. <laughs> All right, Dad. <clears throat> Everything there is tight. All right, the next thing we're going to have to mess with is this intake. Um, we went and got some brass fittings for it, and um, I don't know how it's going to work. So we're going to have to experiment with this a little bit, see what we can get out of it. All right, I'm going to let Dad jump in the car, and uh, we're going to try and just do a bench bleed on this real quick before I start pushing some stuff through the lines. This one actually has ports on both sides. Uh, so I'm going to just try and do a little finger action and uh, see if we can bleed this out. Let me get this in here. Okay, and tell me when you're good to go, Dad. Okay. All right, just slow pumps to the floor. Okay, hold it. You, uh, no, just slow pumps all the way down. Oh. Slower if you can. Okay, we seem to have pretty good brake pressure now. I uh, bled the master cylinder out real well. Um, actually just pulled a vacuum on all the lines, so we're gonna bleed them. They ought to be really close now. Um, so let me get under the car and get this going. All right, Dad, pump it up. Good. 
good? All right, good. Let me get a rag. One more time on this one, again. Hey, that one's good. Okay, let me go to the other side. Just I get it in my face. Okay, again. Okay. 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 Okay, good. One more time. Okay, good. Okay. Again. Okay, one more. Okay, that one looks good. All right, let me show you something I don't like here real quick. First of all, so I'm not a Ford guy, so I don't know these about here, but uh, man, this ain't good. This is the front of the frame rail that ties the suspension and all the front control arms together, and that is rusted out bad. This side is not quite as bad. There's a couple holes right here. The back feels really well. I mean, come on, Ford. If you'd have put a drain hole right here so that this could drain out properly, there is no drain holes anywhere on this whole piece. It's been up through here, and this is nothing but a water trap. Other than that, um, I think we're going to put the car on the ground, make sure it's aligned straight, maybe take a quick drive. Um, been driving on that, which is scary, so we're going to have to patch that up pretty quick. But, um, Let's set this thing on the ground, make sure the alignment's okay, and um, see if our brakes work properly. All right, Dad, here comes your first brake check. I hope we got it. We got a stop sign and two school buses just passed, so uh, let's see if she stops. Stops like a top. Is that a whole lot better? Yeah. <laughs> Power brakes. Now, uh, now we just need power steering. Then we get the uh, front cross member fixed and then put a power steering box on it. I think we'll be in pretty good shape for you. Okay, so another quick and easy project out of the way. Uh, I'm really happy with the brake booster kit. Um, this is a Jamco kit. Um, most people know those guys. Uh, but yeah, real clean, real simple. Uh, the brake lines were even bent up correctly here. Um, all we had to do is just modify what was on the car side. So other than that, uh, it's gonna be a wrap on the old 55. Um, next up, we'll probably will do power steering when we figure out what kit we want for that. And um, go for there. And uh, I'm sure after that, he'll want air conditioning or something like that. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye.